guys, welcome to Dojo Keys Times 3. My name is Kenisa, and today we have a fun video about Little Miss Bailey right here. Well, it's not really a fun video, it's kind of a scary video. Just want to give you guys a story time on something that recently happened to us. So. So, about maybe a month ago, a month or two ago, uh, I was working from home uh, with the dogs. And usually when I work from home, like when I'm at work, I keep the dogs in the laundry room. I show you guys how I keep them up. And so when I'm home, of course, I let them just hang out with me, relax or whatever. So, we were, I was working from home. And like I said, the dogs were kind of hanging out with me, having a little fun, relaxing. And so typically, you know, I like to give them treats. Like, who doesn't? They like to eat. So... <laughs> I was um, sitting down, so I went ahead and got them some treats. And typically, Bailey and Zoe, they just attack a treat. Like, Marley will kind of take his time with it, chew it, smell it, make sure it's good. Bailey and Zoe, like, they don't care what it is. They are going to eat it. Like, Marley, he'll even be a little bit picky with his treats to where he just won't eat any and everything. Like, if he doesn't like the treat, he's not eating the treat. So, I um, got some treats from Bully Make. And they love Bully Make treats. You guys know that from all of our Bully Make videos in the past. So, uh, I broke them up. And typically, Bailey, I mean, she scarfs it down, but she's never had an issue with choking or anything like that. So, I gave her a piece, and I gave Marley and Zoe a piece. And then I noticed that she kind of was, like, making, like, a... <laughs> and I'm like, oh, no. Is it is it lodged in her throat? Like, is she Okay. And so I was trying to give her a second to kind of clear her throat, but I was low-key, high-key getting really, like, worried. I'm like, oh, my God, is she okay? <laughs> like, what's going on? And so she just was, like, making a noise, like, like, it was just stuck in her throat. And so the poor thing, so I'm, like, flipping out because I had a client on the line. I just gave him a treat. Had a client. I'm talking to a client, and I'm looking at her, and I'm like, "Oh my God, is she like?" I wasn't sure. Like, is she clearing her throat? Is she choking? Is she okay? And so she started to kind of like I had put my client on hold, and so I was kind of going over there, kind of giving her a pat, like just being there. And she started to kind of foam a little bit, and I was like, "Holy, you know what?" And like I started to freak out. So then I started to remember my doggy Heimlich remove. Oh, Heimlich maneuver methods and so I uh, got her and I kind of got her on her backside where her uh, stomach was and I was kind of giving her a little like squeeze to push it out poor thing was so stressed I don't know if I scolded her a little too hard because I wanted it out I'm like okay this has got to come out because I can't have you choking I, I just I don't even know what I would do with myself and so I was doing the Heimlich maneuver on her a little bit and <laughs> Poor thing just peed all over for it. Like it just came out. I don't know if it was from the pressure of me pushing or her trying to push it out. But she just released herself. But then a few more compresses and she got it out and she was fine. But you guys, when I tell you, it was so, 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 so stressful. Like beyond stressful. So if I say this, I want to tell you this story time. So he's biting her hand. Um, I want to tell you guys a story time just to... Be mindful of the treats you feed your dogs, the size you give them, especially if they're small dogs, especially if they're like Zoe and Bailey, where they like to just inhale the treat. They don't even think about it. They don't give it a thought. Be mindful of that because, you know, you never know when your dog could choke or when your dog could have anything like that. And it's such a scary and helpless feeling because you just want them to be okay. You want them to get it out and all that. So, you just want to be mindful of that. And then another thing, you guys should really, really, really look into CPR for your animals. You know what I mean? Because with Zoe, Bailey, I kind of flipped her a little bit and I got to her, her back end from what I've seen and what I've watched and what I've learned on different videos and just doing reading. Um, I am CPR certified with children, but I'm not CPR certified with dogs. But I did watch helpful videos that you can find on YouTube and it'll show you how to do it. And if I didn't know that, I feel like I would have been a lot more stressed and a lot more panicked than I was because I kind of knew what to do as far as how to help do a hum because you don't do the hum maneuver like 
you don't do it like this on a dog. You kind of have to flip them. She's going to hate this. You have to flip <laughs> them upside down and like get to their stomach. So, you know, those are just things, little tips and tricks that if you don't watch a video or if you don't just have a little basic knowledge on, it can make the situation a lot more stressful. I'm not going to say I'm an expert dog CPR person, but I will say, you know, just knowing that little bit really helped me to remain calm and helped me to help her push it out. Because had I not known, I probably would have left her flat and been trying to get out, but knowing to lift her. Here's Bailey. She's trying to fight with Zoe right now. So I kind of... Uh, so, you know, I flipped her and gave her little, you know, compressions to, like, help her get it out. And then I was also kind of patting her lower back to help her out a little bit. She's like, what the heck are you doing, Mom? But, yeah, and so after a few of the helmet maneuvers, we were able to push it out. And she was good to go. And so I'm just thankful that she's okay. And so, yeah, I would definitely recommend you guys, A, be mindful of the size that you're giving your dogs when you give them treats. They're smaller dogs, make sure you give them smaller treats. I was just, I don't know if I was being lazy or a little bit sloppy, or if Bailey was just rushing. It was just so quick, and I think that because I was working, I wasn't so focused on the size that I give them like I normally would. So I don't know if I was distracted, but it was just a very intense, it only lasted for about two minutes, and it was a very intense two minutes, and um, you know, it's just not something you want to happen. So again, be mindful of the sizing and just watch a couple YouTube videos on just what to do if your dog is choking self-help videos. Um, I know that some people say give them peroxide because it will help them to induce vomiting. But that might take too long if they're choking. You need to get it out. So I would definitely recommend looking up how to do the homic maneuver on dogs and different dogs and different sizes. Oh yeah, and also when you give them a treat, don't leave the room. You need to watch them eat the treat and make sure they swallow it. Like sometimes I'll give the dogs treats before I head out and I wait until I see them done chewing because you give them a treat and you head right out you don't know if they're choking or not you don't know if it went down or not you don't know if they're having issues so I like to just stand there and watch them eat it and once they eat it and I know they're good then I'll go ahead and leave so I would never suggest like leaving your dog and just giving him a treat and going like if they're gonna eat anything even if it's a bully stick or uh, anything like that I would suggest you're home and not leave them alone with bully sticks or stuff like that to eat because you just never know if a piece breaks off weird and it gets stuck somewhere or they have an issue so it's always better to be there and so you can watch them and so that's really it I just kind of want to tell you guys what happened hopefully you guys learn from my mistakes and you don't have a low-key panic slash heart attack because your baby is choking them. I'm telling you guys, that was the most stressful. Like, I was dang near in tears. Like, I was so stressed out. I'm like, oh my God, I don't know what to do. I was about to call 911. I don't know what they would have done. But I was surely about to call because I was stressed out. So, we're just glad that Bailey's okay. And she's happy and healthy now. She's ate several treats since then. And she's drank them. I mean, drank them. She's ate them. She's eaten. She ate them without any issues. So, we're just thankful for that thankful for her health thankful for all their health look at Marley that's how he loves to sit and there's Zoe in the camera um but anyways definitely thank you guys for watching those jerkies times three I do hope you guys like this video if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up please do not forget to like comment share and subscribe and also uh, I said it in the last video I am doing a Q&A video hop on over to our Facebook page and leave us some questions or even if you want to comment if you want to shout out anything like that I'll be getting everything from Facebook so hop on over and give our Facebook page a like also please leave any video ideas you have below we are in the process of rebranding our channel so definitely leave some video ideas that you guys have below and we will see you guys in the next one Bye, guys.